the demon moon shines bright in the night sky and demonic forces seep into the world. As the Demon Moon Decaying live event returns this year, here's a look at how the event works and some new updates. In Demon Moon Decaying, you can accept quests in Aldorf and the Inevitable City to collect demon masks. Wearing these masks will get your credit for the event, and each mask has a unique special power that you can use in combat. Once the event is over, the masks will decay and lose the ability, but if you keep them in your inventory while they expire, you can retain them as a permanent appearance item. Players with gold to spare can once again purchase Pandemonium, a special Estalian bread that contains a treat inside, or maybe just a finger. Besides the many items contained in the pan, these demon fingers can be used to purchase limited time event dies that you can only get during this live event, like Bloodletter Red, Seduction Magenta, and Pangbringer Gold. And for the very rich players, this is your chance to pick up Warp Gate Black, the darkest black die that exists in the game. If you're a new player or want to see how these dies look before you purchase them, check out the add-on Pocket Palette, which will allow you to preview before you buy. We've linked it here in the video's description. During this live event, a special public quest has arrived in the Chaos Wastes RVR Lake called the Living Snot. Here, both realms fight to defeat Nurgle's Great Unclean One and the enemy faction in order to acquire special rewards. Whichever faction deals the most damage and kills the boss wins the PQ. This year, the spawn location for the Living Snot has been moved towards the center of the map, as his previous spawn location was much closer to one war camp than the other. Purple and gold bags from the Living Snot PQ now also grant Crystallized Malevolence, which can be used to pick up the Magnus Demonarium event item from the merchant. On the topic of event items, the 60-day event item Malleus Demonarium has been reworked and buffed this year. This item was previously untouched since the live server, and now it grants more and better stats for almost all classes. This year, new heralds have been added for the live event. Order players can speak to Marcus the Condemner and Destruction players to the Herald of Decay to pick up your live event rewards. Both heralds are located right next to their city's suspicious masked peddler. Besides the return of Demon Moon Decaying, we have some other permanent additions in this patch to share with you all. New shield quests have arrived for Swordmasters and Blackguards. Swordmasters can now earn the Gold Pavis of Etain, the Gold Pavis of the Griffin Gate, and the Gold Pavis of Kreis. And Blackguards can earn the Golden Aspis of Clar Karand, the Golden Aspis of the Blood of Nagaroth, and the Golden Aspis of the Lord of Murder. Order's War Camp in the Northern Watch scenario has had new guards added to prevent enemy players from freely attacking the spawn. Those who push the War Camp will now find themselves rapidly vaporized. And that's it for this look at the live event and this week's patch. Demon Moon Decaying arrives this week on October 20th and runs until November 1st. Happy Halloween!